Okay, my project today is going to be to secure our picture frames and our stuffed deer mount to the wall. We're doing that because every time we travel, we originally had these hooked up with screws and they would fall off. And needless to say, we would go searching for them behind our blankets, sleeping bags, and we'd hang them back up and then we'd travel and they would fall off again. So I have decided to go ahead and use the command strips to secure them better. And hopefully we won't be dealing with them falling off the trailer. So that is gonna be my project today. And uh, I'll keep you updated. Okay, don't mind the mess in here. But when I had the pictures hung up there and the mount, they would fall down the back of the doggy bunk bed and behind all of these blankets and sleeping bags. Um, so we would have to get the pictures once we unloaded everything and got ready for bed and had set everything up. So that's really a pain. We want them to be up all the time. So I'm going to put the command strips up here, get everything mounted, and hopefully, like I said, they'll be more secure. Okay, so I've got two of the command strips up. Um, are they perfect? No, but as long as I can get the picture to hang straight and even, that'll be good. I also put um, two on the back of the picture frame. So I will get that mounted and take some photos. Okay, I got them both hung up. They're not exactly even, which is probably gonna bug the heck out of me, um, but I'm afraid to rip them off and then not have it stick anymore. I think I might have some extra uh, command strips in the camper, but I'll check if so, then I'll get that evened out. Now I'm going to be moving on to the fake deer mount. Okay, so I got them all hung up. It's a little bit of trial and error, trying to make sure that they were even. Thank goodness I had some extra um, command strips when we hung up our little LED lights. So anytime that I hung something up and had to move it, obviously it doesn't stick as well the second time, so I just went ahead and put some extra command strips on the back for a little extra sticky and I was able to finally get it pretty much even and figured out. So for the stuffed deer mount, we still had the um, nail for it up there. So I went ahead and put command strips on the back, stuck it, but also put it on the nail so it would give it a little extra support. Um, this way maybe it won't bounce around so much. So I think I've got that all settled. Now I'm gonna put the camper back together. Um, we usually keep our fold out beds on top of the doggy bed when we're traveling. So I'm gonna get that all put back and then I'll show you what it looks like all put back together. Okay, so now I've got the camper all put back together. And now the fold out beds, we used to travel with them in a sitting position, but I think they were knocking against the picture frames and the deer, and then they would cause them to fall off too. So now I think we're gonna travel with the beds long ways. So kind of folded down, that way they stay out of the way of the hanging uh, items up there. So here's what it's supposed to look like, all put together and how we keep our uh, sleeping bags and sleeping cushions and things tucked under the doggy bed or seating area. And then we still have our shelf. I've actually hung uh, the new light that we got up there on our rack. And so now you kind of see what it looks like when we're traveling and how we keep everything tucked. We got our canopy. Uh, the only thing that's missing out of here is our toilet and our, our doggy bed, or I'm sorry, our doggy bag, our travel bag. But everything else is pretty much in here and ready to go. Okay, and one last thing. I'm not sure if we mentioned this, but if you're looking to build a kitchen in the back like we did and add uh, curtains to cover the ugly objects tucked underneath, um, you what we did originally is we bought some command strips, but they have a hook in them, and then we would just put the curtain rod in the hook. But they kept popping off. So I have to give our oldest son credit. He came up with the idea to, to drill like a screw. So I'll get under here. 
a screw um, coming out of this side, a piece of wood there, and then just to mount the curtain rod on the screw on both sides. So that has made a world of difference. So now we don't, they don't, see watch, they don't go anywhere. And then here you can kind of see what the, what little hooks we used to have up there that they just did not stay in. So I have to give him credit. If you're looking to do that, just uh, screw in some long screws to the wood, squish your uh, curtain rod together and pop it on those screws and it's not gonna go anywhere. Just another tip. Okay, so thanks for uh, watching my little project today. And uh, sorry if I sound a little out of breath every time I talk, but my nose is super stuffy and I'm hoping it's just allergies and not the COVID. So uh, till next time from Stumbles and Fumbles, take care.